Good evening everyone, time for another Bitcoin report. This is the chart of Bitcoin from ClarkMoody.com. We're on the three day and you can see that that topping pattern we're now rounding down in the indicator so we're trying to find a bottom. We're going to look at the technicals when we get over to Bitcoin Wisdom but looking at the market depth you can see we've got about a total of 37,000 coins offered here and the big drop off comes at about that 1150 price. We dropped from 20,000 to 16,000, get down to 10,000 coins offered at 950. That's pretty significant because that 10,000 mark used to be way above 1,000. And then the price point is being set around 7,750. On the other side, uh, we're getting very close to quite a number of coins being bidded on at 6 to 650. A lot of support there. But this is quite a bit of selling pressure so let's look at the technicals over on Bitcoin Wisdom you can see this is the Mt. Gox feed we're trying to find a bottom here we've had some pretty serious volatility we went all the way down to 714 and we got all the way up on a bounce to 825 and now we're going down to test those lows again a lot of this selling came out from China and we'll see that when we get over to the crypto coin charts so China in a lot of ways seems to be leading things you can see that we've kind of broken below support in China and we're right below that 3792 line that's gonna set us up for a test of this 2709 point now Litecoin has been cut in half from its highs you can see a very big volume spike there so we're still in that downtrend pattern although we have an ascending pennant formation in Litecoin something similar to the one that we had down here for Bitcoin on Mt. Gox if we pull out to the daily you can see we have a trend line that comes up here and we're just meeting that trend line so the supports gonna come in at the old low of about 580 and then we're gonna have support down around 400 and then long long-term support down around that old old high of roughly 250 I don't think we're gonna reach that one but we may so the next test big test is gonna be down around 400. You can see that the moving average has crossed over to the downside, although that green line is not yet turned down. If we move back to the 12 hour, you're going to see they're both trending down now. So we definitely are in a downtrend. Let's go over to a site that I discovered this weekend. Really great site. This is called Coin Wars and the way that this site works is it changes very frequently if you refresh it the order of these coins will change but what this is showing you is which coins are the most profitable to mine if you're in to the alt currencies or mining them or trading them this is some very interesting information now this column here is the number of days it would take to earn with one Bitcoin mining this coin at current prices traded on the exchange it's traded on and at the current difficulty so you have to keep those in mind the difficulty goes up and the price can fluctuate and that's why these all do a refresh here and you can see that these coins change position you can see that galaxy coin now is at the top it's all the way up around fifty nine dollars so it's a very violent fluctuation in the price and the difficulty changes rapidly now the other thing that's very interesting to note here is that all of the top coins here as far as mining profitability you can see that there's listed the block reward the number of blocks and the time for a block but the top coins in profitability are going to be the script coins in fact if you scroll down you can see the first 30 or so are all script coins it's not until we get all the way down 
to this beta coin here, you can see they're all SHA-256 now, all the way down with Bitcoin here. And you can see the time it takes to earn one Bitcoin mining is going to be 1,806 days. So we're talking about nearly five years, four years to five years to mine one Bitcoin. Definitely not profitable. Now, why is it that all of these SHA-256 coins are at the very bottom and all these script coins are at the top? Probably because there's a lot of rigs that have been made primarily to mine Bitcoin, which is SHA-256, and all of the ASICs designed for it, and all of the money invested into mining Bitcoin because it's the leader. Script, on the other hand, we have Litecoin is in script, but I doubt if there are nearly as many miners out there that are basically the rig being made to mine the script coins. Now, will this turn around? I think at some point it may turn around, and uh, when the mining catches up, then the order of these coins will change. Now the other thing you want to look at is when you look in, you click on one of these coins here, let's look at Galaxy Coin, you're going to get the information of the coins to be issued. You can see a total of 538 million of these coins are going to be issued. So that's going to be roughly 25 times the number of Bitcoins. You, you can look at some of these others, Casino Coin, there's going to be 336 million of those. Some of these are very low, surprisingly low. You can see this min coin actually is only going to have 10 million. That's roughly half of Bitcoin. We know that Litecoin's at about 84 million, about four times Bitcoin. So a very interesting and useful site. I highly recommend it. Now the last point is trying to determine based on these numbers whether or not the coins are going to rise in value. You can see here that Galaxy Coin, which is number one, is down 28% on this 14-day exchange rate chart. And that's listed over at Cripsy. So it doesn't necessarily mean that because a coin is profitable to mine, that it's going to be a profitable coin to invest in. That remains to be seen. Now I can see arguments going both ways. One could argue that since it's here at the top of, of profitability to mine, there's going to be a ton of people signing up and mining it. That's going to flood the place with coins and that's going to drive down the price on the exchange. On the other hand, if you have a lot of coins being mined of a particular coin that would tend to increase the popularity of that coin more people are going to have that coin and more people are going to be interested in it so that may be a bullish factor so that's kind of a wash can't say for sure now if you look at the exchanges I'm in the process of over the weekend I got involved setting up my Cripsy account and getting some coins over there and trading you can see that's going to be the exchange for most of these coins although you do have some other exchanges here you can see Vercurex the Anon coin is traded over there then there is BTC-E you can see they're quoting Nova coin from there and there is Coins E Cinnamon coin is over there and then there's BTER extreme coin so those are going to be the major exchanges that's where they're going to get the prices from to determine how profitable these are to mine so let's go back up one more time and do a refresh we've got galaxy grand coin and min coin and you can see they've changed order completely now with grand coin being at the top lucky coin and tag coin so very dynamic situation with these coins fighting for profitability and then of course being traded against Bitcoin on the exchanges. Now I wanted to take you over to cryptocurrency, I'm sorry, crypto coin charts. Now one of the things I wanted to point out with this 
if you remember I said that China seems to be driving things well when you scroll down on this site and look at things in order of how they're listed that is going to be the most volume in money or currency you can see that the Litecoin China exchange over at OK coin is actually going to dominate everything else here if you add this up in Litecoin's multiplied out it comes to about 120 million dollars worth of trading Bitcoin in US dollar actually comes in second and that's uh, BTCE Bitstamp and Mt. Gox those are going to be the three big players there then we have Bitcoin China again so we got China top two out of three Litecoin in US dollars Litecoin quoted in Bitcoin Bitcoin in euros and Namecoin in US dollars now that's very interesting because Namecoin in US dollars is actually higher than Namecoin in Bitcoin so over there on BTC E you can pick up name coins for US dollars and we've got Litecoin in euros pure coin US dollars quark coin in Bitcoin there's name coin in Bitcoin and on down the list so those are the most popular coins there's feather coin and there's a new one dogecoin and then there's world coin keep a very close eye on these this is one that I'm accumulating right now Zeta coin that's quoted on Cripsy and BT ER now let's go over to the coin market cap chart not all of the same coins that are listed on the crypto coin charts and on the coin wars site are going to be listed on this site you can see that you have only about 48 coins listed here so there's quite a few coins missing but of the coins listed here we're talking under 10 billion dollars in total market cap again a real pittance compared to all of the money that is out there in derivatives etc you can see the 24-hour change everything dropping Bitcoin is number one Litecoin second peer coin name coin and quark comes in fifth proto shares world coin prime coin feather coin and Nova coin that's the top 10 that's going to be the bulk of the value a good 98 percent of the value of all the coins traded so those are the alt cryptocurrencies I've been trading them all weekend it's very interesting to trade them one of the reasons why is I like to diversify out of Bitcoin especially when Bitcoin is dropping although it can be a double whammy because if the altcoins are dropping against Bitcoin and as you can see here Bitcoin is dropping as well then you've got a double loss that's the exact other side from what you have when you are on the way up when Bitcoin is gaining and the altcoins are gaining against Bitcoin you've got a double win but I like to diversify out of Bitcoin into some of those others especially if they're bottoming just to have an opportunity to do some trading it looks like Bitcoin is going to go lower here you can see a lot of selling volume coming in and probably most of the alt currencies are going to follow it down we're looking for a bottom but I don't think the bottom is going to be anywhere soon we're probably going to be testing maybe that six hundred dollar price that we tested before and ultimately four hundred and we'll talk to you next time